Navy seemed to accelerate pretty briskly. The RPM, jet pipe temperatures and oil pressures are monitored during the takeoff, and the nose is raised above 75 knots. The aircraft flies off around 90 to 95. Flaps and undercarriage up. Next W433 accelerates to 200 knots. Before you turn, right, Steve. Roger, we'll call it, Jet Thomas. I'll be about to prepare for the test. Roger, then uh, it's extends downwind. I've got one to depart. Great Golf 6 to Sierra, right turn, clear takeoff. 3 4 0 at 12. Let's take off, right turn, half picture of Sierra. Jet Thomas, can I do a 360 here then instead? That's uh, A firm to the left, for the gain downwind. Left 360. Roger, we'll call it, Jet Thomas. So, from our pretty tight right-hand turn, we roll left. I try and focus the camera on the instruments. I'm really enjoying this. Despite the blustery day, the jet is remarkably smooth. Uh, turning uh, base leg. Yep. Basically, like to just roll wing level and then uh, roll in to the right turn. If you want another 360, just tell me, please. A jet top off, Roger. Uh, then you wanted to run and break on 2 3, did you? No, it's 0 5. Roger, then uh, when you're ready, you can uh, advise me turning base for the run and break. Your traffic will be the Robin, just airborne from 05, now crosswind, leaving the circuit to the south. Okay, turning at base now, Jet Provost. Jet Provost, clear low approach and go around 05, 340 at 10. Jet Provost. John's fast run and break should please the crowd. Golf 6 Sierra, what all security time is this? 4,800 and going to break off. Roger, 4260. 0260. A Victor Sierra, a traffic view. Jet Provost just going around to 05. We'll be turning right to see to Drake Off. Victor Sierra, that's coming. Jet Provost uh, heading for Drake Off. Roger, your traffic then is the Robin just leaving the ATZ, also routing to Drake Off, climbing to 1800 feet. Jet Provost, the short of traffic. We'd built up some speed and I got my first serious experience of some G. Jet Provost from Draycott, you returning directly. Jet Provost. Roger, then uh, at Draycott you can route towards right base for runway 05. I'd like to sorry, just for a couple of minutes at Draycott. Roger, in that case, contact radar 123825. As we approach Draycott Water, John keeps an eye out for the robin that he's overtaking. A little bit of sun cheers up the sky and John suggests some aileron rolls over the reservoir. Draycott Water is obviously a fairly quiet place to do a few aerobatics.
So, clearance checks, nose up at 25, 30 degrees, and over we go. Wow, that was superb. Let's see it again from my point of view. Lift the nose, centre the controls, rudder and elevator, and then just use the aileron to roll. Or so I'm told. John suggests another, the other way. He does his clearance checks and then rolls to starboard. I seem to want to stay upright. Here it is again from my point of view. Plenty of nose up. And then around we go. I manage to focus on the artificial horizon and see it slowly rotate. And we straighten up. That was wonderful. After a bit of a tight turn, John demonstrates a Canadian break. We roll to the left, but exit in the turn to the right. So, could a PPL with a reasonable number of hours take on soloing a jet provost? Well, first you'd require a single-engine turbine exemption from the CAA. Then they would want you to do 20 hours of instruction from an experienced pilot, usually an XRAF fast jet pilot. There are, however, quite a few PPLs now flying jet provost and it's considered a well-mannered aircraft, without mixture or prop controls, just the throttle. However, speed is going to be the big difference. Jet provosts like this one operate on a permit to fly in our VFR only, but they are allowed to exceed 250 knots at low level, although the fuel costs rocket if they do. And uh, repeat, the jet provost is now uh, inbound uh, from Greycock towards Wright State. Okay, well,